What is going on y'all and welcome back. Now, I know y'all haven't seen my mountain bike, the good old uh, Norco Optic on the channel in a little bit of a while now. And uh, there's a reason for that. So essentially a few months ago, I had an issue where there was like essentially one of the bolts that holds one of the bearings in on, the, uh, on one of the pivots ended up backing itself out and I could not find the bolt anywhere. It was essentially a, it was more of a threaded rod than a bolt anyway, but bolt threaded rod, you get what I'm talking about. So either way, I contacted Norco and initially they were like, well, we don't really have any of those and we're not really gonna have any for like a good while. And then they got back to me again and they were like, hey, we went and checked in our warranty department and we found one of our war like a warranty frame that had that particular bolt oh make the yellow light thank you but they said we found a warranty bolt or a warranty frame that had that bolt still in it and they were like do you want it the bolt's in great condition and i was like absolutely i'll take it and i believe it was the if i'm getting this correct if i'm remembering correctly it was the dropout pivot it was the threaded rod that goes inside the dropout pivot bearing and so essentially i was able to like right when it popped out i immediately stopped riding and i used a zip tie to, to secure the the bearing in there and everything just to make sure i wouldn't lose anything and the bike sat for a little while now i've had it back for a few weeks now super happy to have it back by the way super super happy to have it back so right now we're on the way to a dirt jump park and depending on how much time we have we might hit a couple of trails later i don't know uh the park that we're going to right now has some really fun dirt jump lines and i really love the lines here the only thing is i don't know if they're all going to be open at this time of year so we'll have to wait and see if they're open but um i just did a bunch of drivetrain cleaning on the bike and uh now we're gonna get it out uh, we're gonna get it out and have some fun with it well as you can tell by the fact that we haven't cut to bike footage uh it's time for a new plan because the first plan didn't work because the uh yeah the jump lines were closed or at least the outdoor jump lines were closed and i did a lot of thinking back and forth and i was like do i go to a trail system or do i go to another bike park and i decided that we're gonna go to another bike park that's about 25 minutes away from here but i think it's gonna be worth it i really really think it's gonna be worth it i think it's gonna be a blast and once we get there i'll check back in with you guys Now, as some of you guys may be able to tell, this is Canuga Bike Park, and they have a warm-up area right over here that's got drops, jumps, little trail features, and so I decided to head on over there and warm up for a little bit. I was a little rusty at first, but I seemed to get it dialed back in pretty quickly. Now, after spending some time in the warm-up area, it was time to start pedaling up. Now, it's not too bad of a climb, and I mean, it's a e-bike friendly park, so if you're on an e-bike, you can get up to the top really, really quickly. If you're on a normal mountain bike, you could probably get up to the top in about ah, 25 minutes-ish, depending on which route you take, but it's still, even on a non-e-powered bike, it's insanely worth it. Like, I'm serious, guys, this park is totally worth pedaling up to the top, no matter which way you take to come back down. Since I don't have a particularly huge amount of time today, I think I'm gonna head straight to Tortuga and have most of my ride time there. Tortuga warm up. Let's hope that my camera settings are decent. Oh. Oh, 
That was kind of bad. Whew. Catch my breath for a second and then roll in again. Now, unfortunately, it appears that some of the files from my warm-up runs on this particular jump trail didn't end up making their way over when I copied over all of the GoPro footage because a couple of them ended up being corrupted, but luckily, we seemed to have gotten most of the better footage, so I was really happy about that. I also just really like this trail. It's a trail that I can run over and over and over again because it's really not that long, but at the same time, the jumps are really nice for kind of just training over and over and over again. And you can really dial in the right speed and the right amount of air and really kind of push yourself to kind of level up, you know, each time. Now, of course, there are a lot of elements of this trail that I still have yet to learn, and I'm still obviously, like, trying to dial in a bunch of different elements of it. Also, my apologies for all of those wristbands that are flapping around up there on the handlebar. Trust me, I am just as bothered by it as you probably are, and don't worry, I'll be cutting those off here pretty soon. It was just kind of a weird, like, temporary thing that I did, because for whatever reason, I thought it would be better at the time to have them on my handlebar rather than my wrist. Well... We've run a fair few laps on Tortuga at this point. I think we're gonna go up. I think we're gonna continue to head on up. A lot more climbing from this spot to the end. I shouldn't say a lot, it's really not that much. It just feels like it sometimes. Just like this, you gotta piece them together, at least for me. I'm sure there are some people like that. Oh, <laughs> still cased it, not casing it. Almost, it really puts in perspective the amount of speed that you're gonna want to be carrying off of this to make that, you know what I mean? Come on, you got it. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't exactly hip the way I wanted it to be. That was a bit cased, but I did make it. And that's what I was trying to do. Oh, now this, this gets chunky. Woo. <laughs> That's gnarly. <laughs> Cause like, ooh, ooh, I'm not at all used to riding tech this steep. This is, this is nasty. Cause it's like, if you, oh my God, Bo. Oh, well, hope it didn't hit anything important. Dude. I didn't even think about it. Oh, where does that go? This trail has like a zillion branches to it. I don't even know which one goes where. And this does climb just a tad and then link up again with this, which I also don't know where this goes. Oh, oh. okay. That's not terrible. You have to keep your momentum up to a certain degree, otherwise... You're oofed. Oof. Oh, All while trying to not... Wind up. 
in a messed up scenario. Dude, that was gnarly. Oh. After finishing that last trail, I decided to come back to Tortuga, which is once again one of my favorite trails out here for a couple more runs before I finished up and left. And honestly, these last few runs were some of the most fun ones I had the entire time. And at the end of the day, I had an absolute blast. And it's always really, really fun getting to share my mountain bike progress with you guys out here on the channel. And honestly, I had no idea how many of you guys were mountain bikers yourselves until I first shared my mountain bike on the channel. And then I realized how many of you guys actually mountain biked. And I was like, bro, for one, that's freaking incredible. I love that. And for two, I'm once again just sh so glad that I can share my own mountain biking experiences with you guys here on the channel because I, I genuinely enjoy doing it. It is one of the most fun hobbies that I have legitimately ever picked up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.